planet. And one of the big problems coming up in the very near future is people are going to start dumping all of their old TVs because they don't think there's anything they can do when the old TVs, which are digital, aren't working anymore. Wrong-o, right? Wrong-o, you're absolutely right. And, and uh, there's some good news on that. And we've actually, the Consumer Electronics Association, done some research on that. The next year, next February the 17th, is the day when analog broadcasts end. Wow. And right. um, so if you don't have a digital TV, you've got a couple of choices. If you get cable or satellite, you have no worries. If you get TV off the air, you can either buy a new TV or you can hook up to cable or satellite or you can get one of these converter boxes that will let you watch the new digital signals on your 84 Magnavox or any old um, <laughs> your analog 84 TV. 84. So, so you can do, uh, you'll be able to do that. But one of the fears is, and it kind of ties into this um, environmental, all these environmental issues that people are really attuned to around Earth Day, uh, is uh, people are going to throw away all these old TVs. Well, our research shows that that's not going to happen for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, um, some people will just get one of these converter boxes and still use the TV. Right. Uh, other people will take that TV and just give it away or use it for video games or to watch their old videotapes or their okay, old right. TVs, so okay, the it. DVD. So it's still usable. Yeah. Uh, other people will actually recycle it. But that's one of the things that we're encouraging because we find in the research that 75% of people say, oh, yeah, I definitely recycle it. But that same amount of people have no idea how to recycle. Is so there it, bad stuff in TVs? Uh, like there is. There's, there, well, there's stuff like mercury and lead and all that. There, yeah. There's less in the newer ones uh, than in the old to go to. It's called MyGreenElectronics.org. Oh. MyGreenElectronics.org. Oh. This is a new one from the Consumer Electronics Association. The neat thing about this one is you can go uh, to My Green Electronics and you plug in your zip code and it'll tell you where there are recycling sites. Excellent.